Hi guys, I'm Nicole and I'm the Selfish Sewist and today I have a fabric haul to share with you all. Um, now that I'm back to sewing, it also means I'm back to fabric shopping. So um, we have a Joann's uh, local to us that's probably the most convenient with the widest selection. Um, I do have two other local shops um, that have a lot of great stuff, um, but I just didn't find it I was looking for for this time. So this is mostly Joann's. I do have two things from um, Boho Fabrics that I'll share with you, um, but I'll start with the Joann's. Um, so the first thing that I have is this. Um, this was in their premium cotton section. It's just kind of this like little crosshatch um, gray and black and white fabric um, and I'm gonna use this to make a muslin of the Seamwork Amber dress. Um, I think I might make that dress hopefully if it fits um, for a family wedding I want to make it in like a floor length version um, but I want to test out the fit first so that's what I have this for and then I've been checking out this uh, really pretty um, eyelet fabric for a while at Joann's was but was waiting for it to go on sale it's really pretty it's got this uh, scalloped hem on the bottom um so it finally went on sale so I picked up some of this um I'm not entirely sure I haven't decided yet but I think I'm gonna make a shift dress um maybe something like the call it laurel dress um I already have that pattern um out of this really um this really pretty uh summer eyelet and yeah this bottom is really pretty on this um they had it in a couple different colors but I thought this um green would be pretty and not something that I have a ton of in my closet already um and then to go along with that I did buy this um lining just obviously because that uh has holes in it so um just to make a like a slip to go underneath um i think i'm going to make a slip instead of underlining just so that i'll have one um for other things in the future um and then i did get some special occasion fabric went on sale and we do have a family wedding coming up that we have um kind of multiple events for um some more casual than others but i did get this um this is a sequin mesh um it's got this really, really pretty Art Deco motif um, through the whole thing. And I haven't decided if I'm just going to make like a long um, skirt or if I'm going to try and do a whole dress. I did get five yards of this. This was marked down, I think, to like, I don't know, $6 a yard. And then I had an additional 20% off coupon. So um, I'm really excited. I think this is so pretty. Um, so I'm excited to kind of figure out what I want to do with this. Um, but our wedding is in September, so I have to kind of figure it out soon. But <laughs> um, I'm really excited for this one. And then for another event for the wedding, I found this fabric. And it's a little shiny in the sunlight here. But um, I saw this and just fell in love with it. Um, I got three yards of it. And I think I'm going to try and make like a five panel circle skirt. Um, I, when I bought it originally I thought, oh, I'll make like a, like a 16 panel skirt, but then realized like that all of my little, um, scallopies would be going, you know, one way and the other just to get 16 panels out of this. So I do think I'm going to go with the five panel circle skirt. So all of these, um, panels have the fringe going, um, down instead of you know up and down which would have had to like that's how I would have had to cut it for the um 16 panel skirt um so but this is definitely just going to be a long skirt and then I'm going to find a like a gold material to make a a crop top just that meets like right at the waistband um but I just think this is so fun and is going to be you know just great for that uh, special event um, so that is all that I bought from Joann's. I did forget to mention I, um, did also for that family wedding get this beautiful silk sari. Um, I'm looking for the headpiece here. <laughs> so it's got this piece here that I think I'm going to make a bodice out of, um, and then do a long, um, like maxi style dress with this, uh, this part of the sari. Um, so I got this for, from eBay, I think for like, it was like $11 including shipping. Um, and it's so pretty. 
Um, so I'm really excited to make uh, like a maxi style dress out of this um, for one of the more casual events for the wedding. And then from Boohoo Fabrics, I got this, um, I think they called it Dusty Violet. Um, this is a cotton voile and I think I'm going to make, um, Seamork has a, uh, like a kimono style bathrobe and I think I'm going to make that out of this, um, just something nice and, um, light and airy just for a little, you know, I'm still nursing so, um, you know, like just to have some coverage, um, but then, you know, easy access for nursing. So I think I'm going to make that. And then I also ordered, this is just a really pretty, um, like really soft uh, cotton shirting also from Boho Fabrics. Um, both of these were relatively inexpensive. This one was $4.75 a yard and this one was um, $6 a yard. Um, they're both pretty nice, um, very soft and I had never ordered from them before but their shipping was really quick i think it came in two days i did have to pay for shipping but it was um seven dollars so nothing crazy um and they also actually sent me a free zipper um in my package too which was great so i'll definitely be um doing business with them i follow them on their facebook group um so just you know like you can see um when new fabrics come and when they have stuff on sale they just had a huge swim sale um so i'll definitely be following them um to purchase more fabric in the future but that is all that i bought um for this time um so i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you all again very soon bye